Hello, welcome to a video tutorial for Spline Terrain 2D. In this video, I will show you how to set up a terrain material and the corrector material. Uh, for this example, I'm getting this uh, sprite pack toward 2D. I don't really need all of the elements that it has. I'm just interested in the images for the ground. The only thing that I will do before starting is to isolate the ground texture that we need, that we will going to use, because we need to repeat the whole texture. I'm selecting this sprite and I will isolate it in a separate file. So this is the texture. All we need to do now is to set the grab mode to repeat. That's all we need to do before starting. I will create here Let's start with the terrain to the material. All we need to do with it is to set the texture that we are going to use. And that's all. I will create an object with the terrain to the and the material. I will se select the material that we just created. You can see how the texture is morphing into the shape of our spline. We can select if we want uh, colliders here. And I want it, the offset a little bit lower there. I want the physics to apply on this line and the sprite to adapt to my physics, not the opposite. So this is a basic terrain. I will create now some recreation material. And let's start with a new group. A group of trees. All we need to do is to drag all the sprites that we want in this group. And that's all. Now we can apply it to this shape. We add the spline decorator and for the corrector material we select the one that we just created. We can see it there. Now let's adapt it to whatever we want. First I want it to be in front of our terrain and I want it smaller and I want it to be above the line. And this is enough. Now you can see that the more you drag, the more elements are being created. And you can select how the distribution is. Let's add more groups. Let's add a group for mountains. It will be behind. I don't really know which one is the mountain, but I will drag them all and delete what I'm not interested. I'm only interested in those two. I want them behind. all my terrain and I want it a little bit on top of the line. Uh, I want them to have different scales and I want them to appear randomly. And now again we can see the more we drag it's created automatically and randomly. If you don't like one, you can randomize it. You can set up any parameter you want. And that's it. So next time you create another shape, another spline, all you need to do is select the already created materials. 
and everything you defined previously will be repeated in this one, including the colliders here. As you can see, everything is separated by groups. I just added a few more groups and I wanted to show you how everything sums up little by little. And the best part is that every group that you created already, you can reuse it in another material. So you can have separate the groups and you can reuse it very quickly. This is all about this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, tell me what do you think and see you next time.